you welcome to another section of ATU Library tutorial series. Um, this particular tutorial is going to focus on how you can build a literature search using a machine learning algorithm tool. Um, this particular tutorial is going to focus on um, connected papers. That is what we are going to use. That is the tool that we are going to use to build a literature search around a particular research area. Let's say IoT or any other research area that you want to go into. All right, so let's start with something. So what you see over here is what we call the connected paper. So that is what we have over here. That is the interface. And now when, when we say connected papers, what is it actually? But uh, briefly, we can say that connected papers is a web-based tool that allows users to visualize and explore academic papers and their citation networks. Yeah, so using connected papers, users can search for a paper by title, author, keywords, and the tool will generate a visual map of the paper citation network. So very soon we are going to demonstrate how you can use connected papers to visualize your literature search. Now, with connected papers, the tool provide a variety of features that allow you to explore the network in different ways, such as by highlighting the key papers, clustering related papers together, and viewing the network in different layouts. Now, this tool that we are seeing is a combination of web technologies, data analysis techniques, and also machine learning algorithm. So we are going to use, uh, before we start doing something with the connected papers, um, we will pick the idea from Google Scholar. So let's say you want to do something in IoT and um, your supervisor or your colleague just send you a particular article. Oh, this article is pretty good. So just go through this article and um, you get more insights uh, with respect to what you want to do under IoT. So let's say uh, you pick the title of that particular article then you came to Google Scholar, then you type. So this is what we are doing. So we have Internet of Things, IoT, a vision, architectural elements, and future directions. So this is a paper that was given to us by a colleague. So realize that this is what we have. This paper is from Elsevier. And um, you realize this paper is cited by 14,251 uh, papers. So. 14,251 papers really cited this um, these authors or really cited this uh, uh, paper in the works. All right, so if you want to know the paper that uh, really cited this particular article, when you click on cited by, you also from Google Scholar, you see all these articles that are um, really cited, really cited uh, the first um, article that we search, that is on IoT. All right, so with Google Scholar, you are going to get a list. With Google Scholar, you are going to get a list. So that's what we have over here. Then use the pagination to move to the second one, the third one, and so forth. All right, now we also have, apart from the cited by, we also have related articles. It means that um, these related articles, we have 76. These articles really pick the information from these 14,251. So that's what you see over here. All right, so. Google Scholar will give you a list, but this time around, we are moving on to connected papers. And connected papers uh, is different from Google Scholar. So in connected papers, you are going to get a smaller list of results. And it's not in a list really, but uh, we are saying that we are going to get it in a graphical representation of how these papers are related to each other. So you realize that this one is just giving you what has been all the papers cited or the papers citing this particular article. All right, now when you click on this one, you you therefore um, try to see, let's say building a network. So this article has also been cited by five uh, these uh, papers, 522. But we want all these things in a graphical format. So we don't want this long list and we are going to use what we call what connected what papers. So let's copy the same title. Now we come to the connected papers uh, application or two. So we paste our title over here. 
then we build a graph. So that's what we are waiting for. Okay. So this is what we have. We move on and just click on this. So we have internal things, a vision, and so we click on it. So the graph is preparing. Okay, all right. So that's what we have over there. So we are going to, let me expand this thing for you to see it clearly. All right, so I can have something like this. So let me, all right. So this is our graphical representation, all like that of um, Google Scholar. That will give you some list. This is what we have. So we will, um, this tutorial will take you through some basic meanings of what we have over here. All right, now just take a pretty look to what we have over here. Just look at how this graph is being built. Now in the center, we have a particular uh, circle in the center. So in the center, we have a circle with a heavy line around it. Now this is, this is um, the circle that we have in the center. Yes, this is a circle that we have in the center. Now, we are saying that these are the network that is being built around this particular paper. And this paper is what we have. That is the Internet of Things, IoT, a vision, architectural elements, and future directions. Now, that is our starting paper. Yes, that is our starting paper because we know, uh, we really want to know other papers that really cited this particular paper to build our network. That's why we are seeing that that is our starting paper. Now, what connected papers, what connected papers does is that it searches through about 50,000 papers that are related to um, this particular Internet of Things, Evasion and Architectural Element, and returns the best couple of dozens of what results. So that's what we see over here. Now, looking at this one, um, we have other circles around it. And so we are saying, okay, well, this paper um, cited this paper, and this paper is also cited by this particular author. So that is how the network is being built. So you have this, and um, this one is being cited by this. This article is also cited by this author. So that's what you, you see. Unlike Google Scholar, that gives you a list. So this one is also cited by this. And this author also cited this particular one. So that's what we see. So you realize that um, as I hover my mouse around it, uh, what you see over here keeps changing. That is it. So, so with this one, once you click on a particular cycle, it becomes stable. It becomes stable. Yes. So when I click on this one, and um, this particular one, a survey on enabling technologies, protocols, and applications. This particular paper, click, is being cited by um, 5,553 citations. So we have 5,553 citations. Now, with this particular one, I can build or I can come out with a different graph. So I can um, click on this one, open a graph. I can also... Um, search for this paper from databases. So we have a um, semantic scholar, we have a um, publisher page, and we also have a Google scholar, yes, actually. So you realize that, um, so when you click on this one, okay, this particular one, um, two citations. So you have the network here. Okay, so that's what we have over here. So when you click on, let's say this one, Started from this, okay, so this one to, so you you realize that, okay, so I have this one. This one picks the information from this, cited this particular uh, article. We click on this one. Okay, it comes to this side. All right, we check this one to, okay, also picking information from this one to, okay, so, so that is how uh, connected papers actually work. So we have, this graph, a graphical representation of what we see or what we have in the um, Google Scholar. Uh, this one is showing uh, a graphical representation of it. Now, what we can see is that uh, there are different sizes of circles and different colors of circles. And 
they are all connected by these lines. You realize that some of the lines are very faint and some of them are bold. So all these lines do have uh, interpretations. And if, in a couple of tutorials, we will try to dip or to move deeper into what uh, what you can use connected papers for. But um, this particular tutorial is just giving you uh, the basics. So we will have to we'll talk more about the derivative works. We we'll also talk more about the prior works and we'll show you some of the pretty features over here. So you realize that, um, as I said previously, you can open these things from some of these databases over here. So it's pretty good. That is what we have for a uh, connected paper. So we are saying that uh, the larger the circle, the more time the paper is cited. So yes, yes, the larger the, the circle. So you realize that um, you have this one, you don't have any map from this particular one, actually. But you, when you click on this one, so this one is being mapped to several articles. So this one is picking from this. You have also this one, you see the line picking from this. All right, so let's look at this one, also picking from this, you have this. You also have, okay, so you like that this one actually is picking from this. This one is also picking from this. You see the faint line, this one is picking from this. So that is it. So the line then becomes deeper as you are seeing. So let's try this one. This one is also, this particular paper cited this one. All right. So you look at this one. So you see, so we have the line becomes deeper. Taking it from this one. So you like this one, this one also picked from this. This one also picked from this and this one also picked from this. So it's like a network. So that is what connected papers is about. And you can use this one to, um, move deeper or get more insight into the uh, into your area that you want to research about. But we will do a part two of uh, this uh, connected papers and we will come out with them or we will take you through some of uh, the pretty um, things that you can use connected papers for. Basically, this tutorial is just to um, highlight on the graphical representation of what uh, we saw from uh, our Google Scholar, that is, uh, it just built uh, a list for us, but this one is just giving us a graphical representation. All right, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial from the ATU library. So watch out for the part two of this particular tutorial, and always remember to subscribe to our channel, ATU library. Thank you.